welcome welcome to my video today's topic is error 41.5 on the Azure 4000 series however the service manual says this is caused by a scanner assembly but not the separation roller and the clutch usually it is caused when the clutch has been dislodged key word in this video is dislodged this occurs when a slit and a shaft in a mechanical sense has been loosened usually this is caused when a technician changes these rollers in a hurry the correct position you should make sure that the, the clutch have its slit and the shaft along the, the main shaft is lodged however I will show this in a demonstration what I, what I will do now here we have a LaserJet 4000 series printer now what I'm going to talk about is about the 41.5 error which is usually caused by this part here being loose matter of fact it can be loosened but doing this actually it's pretty rare of it being um, loose but it can happen by this, by this problem here by having the shaft by having the shaft by having the clutch looking like this around here now I'll demonstrate what happens okay now now you see this see this little shaft above the shaft that must be that must be meshing with the slit that is on the which is on there that's the slit and that's the shaft they must mesh in order to work but sometimes it doesn't I don't know how but it does however one theory is is this is that this slit here, this slit here shown, this little tooth can break off. I can break off. That's one theory it could happen. However, I'll show you what hap what what happens if this is not lodged properly. I'll lodge it enough for it to be back like that. I'll close the lid and I'll do a test page okay the machine is doing a processing job and I'll show you what happens you see as, it, as it's printing it's doing it normally now when it's full it is normal however it's picked up one page right now what I need to do is dislodge it completely like that like so there let's let's say that the technician has not has not has not fitted the separation roller and the clutch without in a hurry like that and the, the and the separation roller is jammed into this part here which accesses the, the two components 
Let's see what happens now. When, when it's um, when it's dislodged. Now, as you can see, it's printed normally, even with it being not lodged properly. So I'll do another, I'll do another test page. Hang on. No, as a mistake is, it's doing it on the on the on the other thing, on the other thing there. Now that's pretty normally there here. However, that's a lower bin. Perfectly did that to show you. Now, as you can see, it's pretty normally with this configuration here. That's the right configuration here. There. That's where it's all been lodged together was together. However, the difference is between the two is a lot. Visually a lot. Here, there, and here. Now let's let's put this tray in by itself and see what happens. It will have a different sound. See there? See, hear that rattle there? Here we are. As we suspect, now we have a free one error and a blank page. Now, this is when it's misleading. This is when this error is misleading. Most technicians think we have a blank page, this is, this is a scanner assembly. That is misleading. However, the scanner assembly of this printer is working, as you can see here. Now the printer will attempt the print will try and attempt to do another copy. And it and will keep on trying until it will keep on trying until it gets until it gets it right. As we can see here. As we can see there, it's done another copy. <laughs> However, when it has most issues assume just because it has a blank page doesn't mean that Xander, doesn't mean that the scanner assembly is faulty. However, it shows by the fact here, with this printout here, that the scanner assembly is working right. That's the error in the service manual. Now I will explain to this I will explain this in the I will explain that sure, I will explain that more in depth now. Now when I have opened up when I've opened up the tray two, here's the result of it all. Obviously the printer was trying to separate the roller despite that the roller has been has um has not has lost its resistance of the torque Q roller Otherwise known by the clutch. This clutch helps the ro helps the roller have more resistance. More resistance to help the paper to be separated from other she from other sheets. However, here two sheets have been advanced from the paper tray. Now that is the purpose of the separation roller to stop to stop the multi feeding of the of the paper from the tray and that's what it's supposed to do. Sometimes if these rollers are sh um, worn or shiny they can also cause multi feed and cause a 41.5 error. So when the 41 when, when the 41.5 error occurs don't assume, don't assume that the service manual is always correct in this error, because sometimes it's, service manuals sometimes can be misleading. I will explain that in depth now. Well, I hope you have enjoyed watching our, my video today on 41.5. Now, as I can say, explain in depth. 
41.5 can be caused by loose separation um, roller and the 4000 or a faulty torque Q roller. Make sure that the rollers and the clutch are lodged properly. Also, the and also make sure that there's no obstructions in the path, and make sure the sensors are moving freely. I will explain about sensors in a later video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.